हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज हैवी मेटल्स इन हैवी मेटल्स वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट दीज फोर हैवी मेटल्स मर्करी कैडमियम आर्सनिक एंड क्रोमियम दीज आर दैवी मेटल्स विच आर रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर कॉजिंग वाटर पोल्यूशन फर्स्ट वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट मर्करी और एच जी सो बेसिकली इट अकर्स इन ऑर्गेनिक एंड इन ऑर्गेनिक फॉर्म्स सो मर्करी फर्स्ट वी डिवाइड इन टू ऑर्गेनिक एंड इन ऑर्गेनिक फॉर्म सो इफ यू सी ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड वी हैव ऑर्गेनिक मर्करी विच इज मोर टॉक्सिक दैन इन ऑर्गेनिक फॉर्म एंड इन केस ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक मर्करी वी हैव दिस कंपाउंड विच इज मेजरली रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर टॉक्सिसिटी which is methyl mercury CH3HG and this is the same compound which is cause for minamata disease methyl mercury on the right hand side we have given inorganic forms of mercury first mercury metal which is non toxic if swallowed unless and until this mercury metal comes in contact with the blood stream blood stream it is not toxic in nature mercury vapors are toxic hg2+ means mercurous iron or hg+ which you can called as are non toxic on the other hand hg2+ mercuric iron are toxic in nature so hg+ mercurous iron or hg22+ mercurous iron which are non toxic in nature and mercuric iron hg2+ are toxic in nature so if we talk about mercury vapor ng vapor mercury vapor are toxic and they diffuse into blood stream mercury vapors are toxic and they diffuse into blood stream from lungs and reach up to the brain where it cause serious causes to central nervous system or cns methyl mercury in sorry methyl mercury in anaerobic bacteria so anaerobic bacteria are living in sediments convert metallic mercury which was insoluble nature into methyl mercury which was soluble nature which concentrates in tissue of aquatic organism after absorption from the water people who generally eat these organisms are exposed dangerously to high level of the toxic chemicals methyl mercury is also soluble in liquid fraction of membrane that is plasma membrane and in the brain tissue it disturbed the passage of sugars and potassium ion which is very important so as you can see the diagram we have shown the hydrophilic head of the protein lipid protein bilayer hydrophobic fatty acid chain and these fatty acids are having hydrophobic fatty acid chains then the diagram below has shown that methyl mercury act on glucose transport as well as sodium potassium transport and disrupt the transmission of sugars as well as potassium ion across the brain tissue or neurons this results in energy deficiency means the deficiency of sugar and disorder in transmission of nerve impulses methyl mercury can also cross placental barrier means it is harmful for fetus and cause irreversible damage to the central nervous system of babies now coming to a very concept which is called as now coming to a very important concept called as teratogens so teratogens are nothing but these are the drugs that cross placental barrier for example thalidomide is one of the drug which was used earlier to suppress the pain and nausea but later on researchers identify that it cause under development of limbs and problem in limb development in fetus all of us know minamata which was a bay in japan so it's a bay in japan where 
NGCl2 mercury chloride was used in various industries and dumped into the bay. In the bay, there was anaerobic condition and anaerobic bacteria using methyl cobalamin as a cofactor, which is an analog of vitamin B12, synthesized by anaerobic bacteria, methylogens, and the CS3HGCl, that is methyl mercury chloride, and combined with chloride, get concentrated into fish tissue. Step number two, and these fish are eaten by human beings, and then human beings suffer from Minamata disease. So how this cycle happened? The first step, we have methyl mercury combined with chloride. Second step, the substance concentrated in fish tissue. Then these fish are eaten by human beings, and human beings suffer from Minamata disease. Now we will be talking about the symptoms of Minamata disease. So it could be headache blurred vision, numbness, loss of muscle control, paralysis and death. So these are the symptoms of Minamata disease. Sometimes people also called Minamata disease as mad cat syndrome. Now we will be coming on sources of mercury pollution. So first and foremost source if they ask is coal based thermal power plant. Then, chlor alkali industry, biggest source, manufacture of chlorine gas and sodium hydroxide takes place there. Then, electrical apparatus are also source of mercury pollution. Agricultural industry, where we used in fungicide, mercury chloride, HGCl2. And then below we have written the fastest enzyme, which is carbonic anhydrase, highest turnover.